Hello again, this is Margie Hare from Nature Health and I'm continuing on our journey through the garden as we look at propagating and we're going to look at self-propagating of lamb's tongue. You don't have to go and buy a plant. Once you've bought one tiny little plant, you've got lamb's tongue forever. It spreads very gently. This was only planted uh, four and a half months ago and it's now ready to, to separate because it's dormant and it'll flower in about five months time. So if you've got a lamb's tongue that's looking compact like this, it's time to pull it up, divide it and plant it. It's a lovely plant to have as a border. In the old days, it was highly recommended and used as a medicinal plant because in those days, especially during the war, there were not enough plasters and bandages to go around. So a, 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 a mature lamb's tongue would have leaves even bigger than these and then what you do is you take the whole plant out. You need to remove the whole plant. And then you'll see each little plant has grown itself into another plant. So you can either pull it apart or you can cut it. So I just carefully divide them up. Can you see the little plants just easily separating? And this is the size of the plant that I actually started with. So I'm going to remove some of those. It's a very healthy plant and back in the spot where the mother plant was I'm going to plant this baby. Now what I would do I would put a little bit of manure in there, some water and away we go. The rest of these I'll divide up and use as a border in the rest of my garden and then in the flowering season these would be fabulous in my tussie mussies. But what I was saying was during the war they used these as, on, as plasters. They would bandage and use these as plasters, folding one over the other, over the other, over the other. So it's got more than one use. Today, bandages and plasters are very easily available, but in those days, things were not, and there was a shortage of cash as well. So you'll notice there's still a little bit of horse manure that I've put in there before. I'm just breaking those few dry pieces up. And this is now cow manure. I'm mixing it up. I'm putting my new baby in. And I'm giving it a good water. You can see how dry it's been. It's been nearly six weeks and all we've had is about two millimeters of rain. That's all. If you enjoyed that clip on how to, how some plants self-divide and how easy it is to grow your stock and grow your garden without having to go to the nursery and buy stock please click the like button share it with your other gardening friends and if you'd like to have more tips on how to garden organically and really easily all you need to do is subscribe to my youtube channel or you can go on my website and buy the ebook which gives you step by step information on how to plant, how to propagate and how to get started. Have a wonderful day.